for some more home exercises for you guys if you're working from home. So hopefully you're following the Pomodoro uh, technique, so 25 minutes of focused work and then 5-10 minute break where you get some water, you do some stretches, do some moving, get your band um, and then every four Pomodoros have your lunch break, go for a run at the park um, and perhaps do some more strength exercises. So today I want to give you a couple of exercises that focus more on your glutes um, and your back uh, that should help with any kind of lower back pain and just also keeping your muscles a little bit active and strong. So first off, easy with a sofa, sit down, stand up, sit down, stand up. Looks easy, but it's not so easy when you go on one leg or if you do it 10 times in a row. So try and keep that other foot off the floor. Wear some cool purple socks like me. Um, 10, and then really extend at the top to squeeze your bum and Get nice and strong at the top. 10 each side. Okay, so make sure you really uh, get strong and balance at the top. And then if you've got your band, really easy one is you can pop it around under your feet, cross it over, and then you can do some little side kicks. Okay, so that really works your, the, the stabilizing side the glutes or the hip on that side. Also works the other side, obviously the one that's kicking. So you can do 15 each side. Really small movement, really effective. It's burning me now. Okay, easy. Then onto the floor. I've got a mat here, but you don't need a mat. You can use whatever you want. You can just use the carpet. We're going to do bridges. So you put your heels quite close to, to, your, to your backside on the floor. Uh, push through the heels, tuck the tailbone under as you lift the hips up and then really squeeze your bum there at the top. That opens the hip flexors as well as it starts to activate the glutes. So if you've got quite tight hip flexors, you might get stuck here, not be able to get very high. So try and, try and push a little bit harder each time, a little bit higher each time. If this is easy for you, try it on one leg. So push it uh, all the way to the top. Keep the other knee quite close to this knee. So try not to move this one around. You're just going to keep that one quite close. Move a little bit here so you can see. 10 on each side. Try and squeeze at the top. Sometimes my pelvis clicks there and that might be quite normal as your pelvis, everyone has little imbalances. It can reset a little bit, it can move and crack into place. That's completely normal. Um, so don't worry about that if that happens. Um, if you want to make that a bit harder as well, you can use the band, pop it over your hips, push down. So I'm just pushing down um, the band over my hips to add some resistance, that's all. Okay, so remember from the other day, you've got your openers as well. So you've got your band openers. External rotations. You've got your stretches that I gave you over the desk if you want to open your, your back. It's always a nice one to add when you've done those exercises. Stretch through, put the arm through. Okay, so you've got some exercises to do there. A nice way to do it is to spend, either, either do 10 reps on each side, 10 reps of each exercise, um, and do three or four circuits. Or you can do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and just keep that clock going over. So 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, change leg, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Do it like that. Also a nice way to do it. And just keep remembering in your five minute breaks, if, even if you don't have the band, you can just keep opening the chest, rolling the shoulders, twist your body. Let's really keep some blood flow going. Later on, I'm gonna post um, a bit of a harder exercise workout for you. So for those of you that want to push a little bit more at home or have a bit more time or want to um, use this time to run a bit of an exercise program for yourself and see what we can do at home. So let's have fun. Any feedback, please let me know. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's liz.marsland, M-A-R-S-L-A-N-D. L-A-N-D, that was. See you soon.